It's Marisa here with you on 3TFM and my special guest today is an American singer-songwriter who's toured some of the best places in the US. He's an up-and-coming career and he's also featured in the Billboard Top 40 Twitter chart. <laughs> Todd Kenny, welcome to the show. Thank you so much for having me. It's really a pleasure so, to be here. So, brilliant. So for people that haven't heard of you in the UK, tell us a bit about the kind of music that you do. Sure. Um, I am a singer songwriter with like a pop music edge. Uh, I've been steadily kind of releasing music for a few years now and uh, put out a song called Nintendo a couple years back that did really well, had some viral success here in the United States. And um, I have an upcoming single coming out in May, May 31st. The song's called mm -hmm. Ready. Ready. So where did you get the inspiration for that song from? Um, you know, it's funny. I always wrote like alone. I, I always wrote my own songs and... <clears throat> For this group of songs, this record, Nintendo, Ready, um, I did some co-writing with a bunch of my friends, and we would just sit around and kind of talk about talk about stuff, and uh, inspiration would come up. This song is about, it's like an optimistic song about, like, ready for the next stage in my life, ready for love, ready for just, like, to be open to let go of some, let go of the past and, like, be ready for the next thing. Sounds perfect. Sounds like that could apply to lots of people listening. <laughs> Absolutely. And it's, you know, it's like as spring turns to summer here in the United States, it's like yeah. really, it just, it reflects a feeling that I think a lot of us have at this moment, you know? So uh, what, what kind of inspired you to getting into singing and songwriting? Because I'm guessing, obviously, we see in, over here and in the US, there's a lot of talent shows and things and people want to be famous. But right. from what I can see of you, you're much more into the music side of things and really writing stuff that means something to you. Well, I'm glad that's apparent. Thank you for saying that. It's weird because I, I like like you mentioned, I've, I've had a lot of stuff going on on social media. And sometimes when I'm on social media... I feel like the music gets lost. And for me, it's always been all about that. Um, so, yeah, I grew up, I think it came from my parents. Like, my dad and my mom were just both um, heavily just musical people, um, not musicians. My mom is a musician or was a musician. Uh, but uh, I don't know. It was just something that hooked me early since I was a kid. I've just always been on that direct path to do that. Um, so, yeah, as early as junior high, high school just it's been always music and you know i guess a lot of people start out on the same kind of journey but they give up so what would you say has been your thing that's kept you going because i'm imagining that along the way and through building your success you've had some challenges i was going to say utter insanity <laughs> <laughs> literally i feel like the only reason that i'm still here is that i'm crazy <laughs> in a good way of course in a good way Hopefully. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I, it, when, when it's working, it's so rewarding that it keeps, it keeps me going. And I think most musicians would tell you that. And I just, I feel like it gives me a, a total sense of purpose, you know, and, and when something connects, when people like a song or when I, when a show is particularly great, it's just like everything kind of falls into place. And what would you say has been the highlight of everything that you've done so far? Oof, that's a good question. Um, it's, I, I would say that when, at least so far, and I want this to be a so far, you know what I mean? Because I just, I really feel like the best is yet to come for me. Um, it ha uh, I would say that when the song that I wrote as a joke, that song Nintendo, came out and really started, you know, you, you spend years right in doing everything. And the one thing that you kind of didn't expect to happen just totally took off. I would say as that was happening, it was very thrilling, you know, mm -hmm. uh, when that song hit number one on the billboard charts or, you know, when the song hit a million plays on Spotify or just like those moments where there's like a milestone. Um, those, those are exciting. And in what ways would you say, if any, have your life changed since you've kind of progressed along the music route and you've maybe got a bit better known in the US? Um, just, I would say that it's the, the security of at least getting a chance to continue to do what I do, knowing that I'm going to get to keep doing it, that, that, that's, the, that's the thrill, you know? And what would you say is the biggest lesson that you've learned along the way? That's a good question. Um, Never, don't hold yourself to expectations because things like the success or like, you know, you could be surprised by something you didn't expect. And often the things that you think are going to work don't. 
So the lesson I've learned is like be open to everything. That's a pretty general, general lesson. <laughs> and so uh, what would you say to our, our, our listeners here in the UK that are, you've obviously overcome some challenges yourself to get where you are. What would you say to listeners here that are maybe going through a bit of a challenging time themselves in some way? Um, well, I tend to lean on the optimism side, even though it's not, it's not easy, but you know, um, it, adversity and struggle, it's, it, it, it's always going to be there. Uh, it's just part of, part of our existence and knowing that the flip side of that is the good stuff is there too. And it will come that that's what keeps me going, you know? So ideally, where would you see yourself a couple of years from now? Um, doing this, but on a, on a much bigger scale. Um, and uh, ideally I really want to tour over there. I want to come, I want to come to the UK so bad. I want to go to Scotland. I want to go to, I just want to go everywhere. So yeah, well, yeah, if you put it out there, it might happen, man. I I think regardless, I'm going to come there. So I just, I get, I get correspondence every day from people over there and it's, it's exciting to me. And it, I guess it shows that you're you're getting better and better known for for your music and what you do. Ah, oh, well, thank you for saying that. It's, that's really sweet of you. So, um, what I mean, that would be your ideal plans. But what are your actual plans over the next few months? Say, plans for the future. My new single "Ready" is coming out in a couple of weeks here um, on iTunes. And I don't I don't know if you guys do. You, I'm sure you use iTunes, right? Or um, yep, digitally, yep, yep, Spotify. Yep. Uh, it yep. should be up on YouTube, but. Um, uh, yeah, so that single will be released um, May 31st, uh, and I'll just be promoting that song. I'll be playing shows here in the United States, um, connecting with audiences, and then it's being followed by a full album. So that should be towards the, end of the summer. The album's called Future Throwback. Fantastic. And what was the kind of inspiration behind that title, Future Throwback? Uh, it's the, the concept is that it's like forward kind of future music, but also that's classic and makes you feel like it, it's rooted in stuff that you know and like. Fantastic. Well, yeah. no doubt we'll be hearing a lot more of you, hopefully here in the UK as well, and you'll maybe get a little trip over at some point. Oh, man, um, I love that. Yeah, and uh, but what we'll do right now uh, is we will play your new single. Uh, would you like to introduce it? Yeah, um, this is Todd Carey, and this is Ready.